Greetings and salutations. It's your boy D. Bone, LLE Ascension, aka LLE Astrology, aka LLE Tarot. We back and uh, just gonna get this aligned up real quick. <clears throat> we here for these messages. So, Divine Masculine's Karmic Situation. No introductions, no one announcements or anything like that. Uh, yeah, if you need any services from me, details and information is right, you know, in the video details. Make sure you click in, drop me an email, and we can go from there. Um, aside from all that, <coughs> should definitely have Twin Flames in Union, Reunion, and Recognition by tomorrow night around this time. And, uh... Yeah, that's your boy. <laughs> oh yeah, by the way, in-person readings. Um, it's uh, it's fifty. I'm gonna keep it fifty. It was fifty when I started. Um, kind of keep it like that all across the board. So if you need to see me in the city, readings, personal readings are sixty-five bucks. But um, it's my time you're paying for. It. But um, yeah, in-person readings fifty. If you're in the uh, Chicago, Northwest Indiana area, even the uh, Milwaukee, Racine, Kenosha, Zion, Waukegan, Gurney areas, you know, shout out to Six Flags, Great America, you bitch. How about your boy, man? I'm around, you know what I'm saying? I'll drive right up to you, pop up at you, you know what I mean? Can't let nobody come in my crib, though. I did that when I had my house. I can't do that this time. See, I was a new booty. Inviting just any type of motherfuckers to my crib. A lot of karmics came to my crib. Giddy. <laughs> Never again? Fuck is you talking about? You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. I love people, but... Say, you just can't let anybody in your house. Overall energy, bottom line energy. Let me pick clarifiers and we're going to get with it. This is... <laughs> My masculine's karmic. I put emphasis on karmic situation. <clears throat> Overall energy, we have the Knight of Pentacles. This is gloomy. Okay. Uh, it's being taught something or you being in a position to teach something to somebody or doing both. Clarifying that is the Nine of Cups. This is a dream come true. This is wishes granted. This is something that your masculine deep down, you know, in their heart, their deepest, darkest, not darkest, excuse me, their deepest, most passionate, most genuinest dream or wish that they want to be granted. Yeah, I mean, it's like they're really grooming themselves for it. You know, the energy of your divine masculine wanted to be an actor. So he finally gets a a supporting role in a well-known TV show or some shit like that. And I know extra shit. This nigga finally get a speaking part and all that there. Yeah, I mean, this is the equivalent of, I don't know, your masculine wants to be a fireman. Firefighter. Cop. Uh, wants to move up rank in this position. You know, he wants to... I don't know. <clears throat> groom himself into a model inmate. So he can get released soon. You know what I mean? And, and get out by the cups. That that type of energy. Overall energy, too. Something that your masculine wants to happen. Could be a business they want to start. Could be um, reunion, union or recognition with their twin. Could be a reconnection with somebody in the family. You know, aside from feeling or wanting this to happen, this dream or this wish, your masculine is actually manifesting things to prepare for whatever this is. So, if you want to be a firefighter, he's training. Cop, he's training. Getting his shooting together, tactical, whatever, little weird ass maneuvers, getting certified and all kind of MMA shit. You know what I mean? Just to be the best of the best of the best. You know? This is masculines, like I said, grooming themselves physically, you know, or mentally. Or spiritually, you know what I mean, to get in tune with their feminists. <clears throat> you know, learning to dance, learning to swim, 
I don't know, taking yoga classes, just trying to become better men and women out here in the world where they love being so much. But picking another card, we got the Seven of Pentacles. It's the Riri card. Reanalyzations, re reorder, you know, removing, relocation, you know, reorganize, recognition. Relay, replay, rehash, rehab, reverse, reverb, relax. <laughs> it's all red, too. It's a warning. Overall energy, masculine. Do what you can. All right, but don't go overboard. God is definitely out here, and God is the last card in your energy. And it's Ten of Wands out here, Ten of Cups out here, and Ten of Pentacles out here. So you're going to be completing a lot of things. <laughs> growth and development. DD, DD. I see a lot of growth and development here. Okay? A warning. Raw energy. If you don't reread, okay? And whatever you, whatever wish is going to get granted, whatever this dream is that came true, it's not going to be there for long. Grooming, that's what's up. You're showing initiative. Making dreams happen, that's cool. But I'm telling you, you got to reread. Seven of Pentacles, what's that? That's a C. That's passing. All right? The step before this was the Six of Pentacles. That was just getting square. That's the D. It's failing. It's not failure. Five of Pentacles, that's a 50% or below. 60% Six, is a D. It's not passing. It ain't failing, but it ain't. I mean, it's failing because it ain't passing. Seven of Pentacles. This is, I told you, having money and you don't have it. This is having insight and you don't have it. Playing stupid when you need to. Never understood the art of playing stupid. You know what I mean? Until I hit my 30s. Teens, 20s, I sh you know what I mean? That's the time I should have been playing stupid in life. You know what I mean? But instead, you know, Mr. Blabbermouth too, you know what I mean? My mouth, mouth got me in a lot of shit. You know what I'm saying? Silence and secrecy. Just being silent, man. I don't know what to say and when to say shit and when to shut the fuck up. Overall energy. <clears throat> you got it, but you don't have it. So, you don't want to go overboard with the grooming. This is the energy of you just spending a lot of money on your wardrobe. People see you, I don't know, you buy another a new car. You, you know, switching shit to the max on a physical level in front of people's eyes a little bit too much. To where these people think you rich or you a drug dealer or you something. You sure got a lot of new shit. You really trying to switch your image. You show up to something. You know, and people start robbing you. Or your neighbors call the cops on your ass with some J. Cole shit. They think you sell drugs. Or, you know what I mean? You're attracting undesirables and, and, and brand new friends because of the shit you have type shit. Dial it down. You're only gonna hurt yourself being on 10. Like that. Secondly, going to the gym. Mass one is you going to the gym, you're working out, you're dieting. It's like you dying into the max. Dial it down a little bit for you. Hurt yourself. You know what I'm saying? This is forgetting to eat in the midst of protein shakes and supplements and shit. Fall out, faint and shit. Cause your ass is weak. You know what I'm saying? Cause you ain't eating nothing. You know what I mean? You 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 on supercharged with the whole getting your physical together, but you kind of forgetting the internal shit you need to be doing. This is sleep. Once again, not getting enough sleep. You working your ass all day, thinking you up, popping caffeine pills and fucking monster energy drinks, trying to stay up and work, get this money, clock these hours. You a truck driver or someone up the bill, and it's like your ass fall asleep. You know what I'm saying, driving, catch yourself and be like, damn. You know what I'm saying, sleep. It's just think, like I said, it's the whole going without sleep shit. You gotta sleep. You gotta eat. And you gotta sleep. It's mandatory. There's no going away around that shit. Don't go overboard. 
Yes, you enjoying this. Yes, you're progressing. Yes, you getting closer to your dreams with some guapalay shit. Don't overdo it. It's the equivalent of, like I say, training for a motherfucking fight only to spring your ankle a couple weeks before the fight and now the fight's here to come and it's like you don't feel 100 but you're going to have to take your 70% ass in the ring. Should have been working out of moderation. It's like going on vacation you know what I'm saying? Out of country, somewhere where there's a glorious beach but here your ass got a cast on your foots for doing too damn much. Juvenile energy, overall energy, it's juvenile, okay? The way you're grooming yourself. It's cute. It's just like a... <laughs> say, I'm saying this is a move on. It's like an a old lady working out in the gym. It's a gospel. Okay, that's cool. See, when I'm in the gym, I'll be in... Like, I either look at my videos. I, I look at my videos when I do cardio. And when I'm lifting weights and shit, I used to be listening to, like, Pandora shit. Like, I love McConan Station. I think it always gets me right. It's the music. Nori Station, Noriega, you know what I'm saying? Cam, do or die. I mean, that bitch grooving, but inside and by myself. I don't really, I'm a Leo, I'm subconscious, so I don't really like doing too much extra shit because I think everybody looking at me, every Leo think paparazzi looking at them and everybody, you know what I mean? They do, but, you know, double edged sword. Like the old lady listening to gospel music. And it's, you know, they be in it. They be singing loud as no loud as you sing loud as hell. I, and I mean they in it. And they ain't just listening to the music, they you know what I'm saying? Oh, just be in it listening to God. <laughs> be too in it for me. You know what I mean? Just be breaking my concentration and shit. And it's like, yo, you looking slow as hell. But that's the spirit. Dig what I'm saying? It's cool. You get your workout on and all that shit, but hey, calm down. <laughs> you know what I mean? You know, you ain't gotta go extra or go overboard. Overall energy masking, do what you do. You're doing good. Just don't go fucking overboard. Bottom line, nine on wands. Wound. Wounded warrior. This is like I say, having a cast on. <laughs> on vacations somewhere on beaches resort or some shit. Gonna take the fun out. This is being sick during a bachelor party or sick during a birthday party. Whatever the fuck. Yeah, you know I mean, bummer. <laughs> Clarifying is not a wise. We got the King of Cups, the highest form of emotion you can have, and this is the spirit to kind of have to thug it out. You know, it's the energy of uh, You go to school because your son, you know, the school called you in for, for something to happen in the county of your son. This boy up in here giving people wet willies and wrote some crazy ass shit about the principal in the bathroom and just did some real Bart Simpson shit. It hurts because it's your son. You know what I mean? They're represent this is my mom used to say all the time. Like, you're a represent representation to me, so don't be out here acting stupid because it's going to make me look stupid. You know what I mean? It's your kid making you look stupid. You love him, but you kind of hurt. And you see how the King of Cups looking away from the hurt and all the pain and shit? It's like, I can't even look at you right now because I'm going to fuck you up. That's that's pure King of Cups right there. I told you. <laughs> Aside from it being people outside your family who you tell the fuck off or you don't give a fuck about what people feel or say or what the fuck. You know what I mean? That's it's a five of wands, totally outside of you. The King of Cups is really having the nuts to stand and say, fuck you, or get the fuck out of my face, or get the fuck out of my house, or stay out of my life, or it's over with. I don't give a fuck how you feel about it, or roll the fuck up, or whatever. You know what I mean? It's bigger than however they feel. You know what I mean? You coming at them with this energy. Anybody you got to come at with on the King of Cups, they need it. It's like you a bug. You, you, you know what I'm saying? The motherfucker that, that linger, lingerers. Stay around in your house, stick around. It's like, yo, get the fuck out. Like, why do every time I gotta kick you out of my house? Like, peace out. You, you know what I mean? You don't, you, don't, you don't know when reasonable, respectable time to get home? Do you got a home to go to? Like, what the fuck? King of Cups. I got a house. I got comfort. I'm waiting on your ass to leave 
so I can go to sleep and do what I gotta do, but your ass sitting here like, like what? Like, what the fuck? Like, get the fuck out. <laughs> they're hurt, but fuck them. It ain't about how they're hurt. This is your K for Kingdom here. And, and, and inside being a, uh, the kingdom, a physical kingdom, like your house and your car, and you know, shit you can kick people out of. You do got the king of hearts. Like I say, this is just you the master of your own emotions. And this energy can't nobody affect you emotionally. Now, going back to yourself, you're wounded. Why are you wounded? Because <laughs> like I say, you probably did too much. Okay? It's the equivalent of, like I said, you spent $2,000 on a music video, you upload it on YouTube, it only gets eight views. <laughs> you know, you're a little hurt, but you're mature enough to know that next time you're going to Wait until it's a good time to put it out. This is a waste of money. But you got money. Because you're a grown-ass person. And this really ain't no L loss. It's more so of a lesson. It's also the energy of, like I said, you're going extra hard. In the gym. You pull a ligament flexing. Trying to lift big weights and shit in front of some fine-ass chick. When you really getting your body ready for your feminine. You ain't farting or cheating or anything. You just, see walks by, you just get the flex in and then you pull something. You hurt. <laughs> you look stupid. Got embarrassed. And, like I say, the next go around, you if you knew better, you do better. You know what I'm saying? You know how you're going to feel next go around. Bottom line, you're going to hurt yourself doing too much. So try not to do too much. And learn the lesson that you're going to accept. Okay, eat all that humble pie. All right, while you're <laughs> hurting right now. And um, put the final smoke on this bottom line. You got the Knight of Cups. It's pretty old whole heart and some shit. You know. The biggest lesson you're going to learn hurt in that cast, you know, picking yourself up from that shame of embarrassment you just went through flexing and yeah, you know I mean, just going overboard and overall energy. The lesson you need to learn here is always keep a king of cup attitude. And stay off this juvenile energy shit. You can't put your whole heart in the shit in the world. Like I say, Knight of Cups, that's the energy of you uh you trying to get anything in the, uh, the music industry. It's like it ain't even about the money. You just want to get out here and show the world what you got and shit. You know what I mean? And you sign a bullshit contract. Same shit I was on when I was rapping at first. That's why my mom pulled the plug because she knew I was in this energy. I was 15, 16. Not my little thug uh, thinking jig going on. I used to say that shit, man. It ain't even about the money. I just want to get out here and rip the stage, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm on tour, Wu Tang and shit. I'm trying to do my thing, you know what I mean? And yep, bet. Cool. <laughs> awesome. I was a juvenile move right there because I was in my feelings telling this nigga about my passions and rap, but this is business. You know what I mean? I would not I would have never survived in the music industry. I'm telling you, my mama's seen that. Why? Because my mother's always on the King of Cups energy. Now I'm always on the King of Cups energy. This is the energy I have. I'm say this, let me get to the message. Be like me. <laughs> Real shit. People think I'm like just a quiet, mean mugging, overthinking person. Like when I'm in the gym, I'm quiet. I go, I work out, I leave. I analyze everything though. No. But it ain't about getting to know people. I say this all the time. Camaraderie. Camaraderie. That's a man, that shit is a rouge. I see motherfuckers waste good time, energy, and money. And resources over camaraderie. Whether you was in the army, you see a person who was in the army in a fucked up predicament, and here you is helping a person that don't even want to help themselves. But in camaraderie fact that he's a fellow brother in arms former cop former coach former football player star at your high school alumni whatever the fuck fuck all that shit hey motherfuckers be bums for reasons oh boom people be doing shit and unfortunate listen talk to a nigga that's been homeless so if i say anything half the time i've been through this shit so a nigga can testify and say this shit all i'm saying is this fuck camaraderie oh it's See, like I say, I hear it in the gym all the time. Man, it's good to be here and connect with people. It's all about the camaraderie. 
Like, I don't know you. <laughs> Ain't trying to get to know none of y'all in here. Like, it's a gym. We come here to work the fuck out. It's like church. That's why I ain't in church now. It ain't like I don't like the church to where I don't like being in a tabernacle the whole time. Every time I go to church, I feel out of place. I feel just like this. My nigga. A king amongst jacks. Jokers, man. It's too much shit in there. Fake smiles, words. <coughs> Motherfuckers trying to smash. Motherfuckers trying to network. It's a whole line of motherfuckers trying to start programs and businesses for the church. They got to talk to the pastor about it. You know what I mean? It's too much shit. I just want to come in, worship, and leave. I can't do that. Not as a church of God in Christ, nigga. I can't do that. It's a shame. And then I used to only go to, I'm saying this, I'm getting with it. I used to only go to church with like, uh, you know, a female friend of mine. Like any chick I was fucking around with that night. Saturday night, we'll go to church. I was doing that for a minute. You know what I mean? I got close to a lot of good women going to church with them. You know what I'm saying? That's what church was for. But we were outside of the church and paired up and came in. It ain't like I went into the church, found somebody and whatever. It's just like high school. You know how many motherfuckers used to... Like my twin. This nigga, didn't, this nigga got too many chicks he didn't fuck with in the church that he still go to church with. He dates. Get them. Drop them, still gotta see them. I don't fuck with chicks, I gotta see again. This is my thing. <laughs> I always say this, you know what I'm saying? I got close to a lot of good women taking them to church, but it got to the point to where I had to have somebody with me at church. Because every time I'm in church by myself, I'm telling you, I either get picked for altar call. Every time I get picked for altar call, I get singled out some type of way. It's my face, it's how I'm sitting there. I'm analyzing. Ain't like I'm not feeling what the fuck the preachers say. Everybody, oh God, they uh, uh, all that shit. When I hear the message, I'm there. I'm just like this. I'm just like this, thinking. I'm analyzing, or I'm sitting back. People, everything. Most shit get out of me is because that nigga drops some knowledge or something like that's. I'm saying I don't. I'm not overboard. Overall energy. I ain't overboard with the shit. People be overboard. Camaraderie. Oh, you gotta be friendly. You gotta be nice. All right, Mr. Nice, Mr. Friendly. <laughs> All right, man. It's more karmics than the vines. Put yourself out there and see what's gonna happen. The extra friendly shit, dead that shit. That's over the top. It ain't just physical being over the top. You can be emotionally over the top. Once again, got a cousin, uncle died. That's her dad. That's my uncle. I mean, I'm pretty sure she's hurting way more than me, but she got brothers that's hurting way more than her. You understand what I'm saying? She's still mourning, still tripping, still bitching. Hearing her own motherfucker online every day, going through all the emotions, just dragging us on. Like I said, how long are we gonna mourn? That's why I respect our world countries, man. Their the the loved ones die, they bury the dead as soon as possible. They mourn them in the streets. Why are they carrying them to the to bury them? Once they bury them, it's done. It's time to move the fuck on. It's real shit going on in Syria. Third world countries and shit. Motherfuckers, you know what I mean? It's more important shit to be worried about than death. They're going to a better place. If you can't accept that, then you're doing extra shit. It's like a person trying to hop in a fucking casket at a funeral. You selfish bastard. Motherfuckers feel way worse than you. It's motherfuckers that came thousands of miles to see this person. And you hopping in a casket for what? For likes? To be heard, to be seen, to be felt. Like, you went through shit more than anybody else in that motherfucker. Sit your goofy ass down. Goofiness. It's common, but it's not common. Anxiety. Put people down. You can't knock people order down. I don't want to hear none of that shit. Just stay on your shit. Okay? Because if you fall off, I'm telling you, you're going to be a statistic. You're going to be just like everybody we talking about right now. You divines. Nigga, we ain't on no karmic shit. Should we talking about this karmic shit that divines even go through? It's just we gotta rise above it. Stay out that karmic ass realm. This is a karmic situation, right? I bet. Let's get straight into this demo. Personally, same personally, it's in your uh, karmic realm. Excuse me. Karma coming straight into the situation, masculine, eight of swords. Self imposed prison. Feminine had this in their karmic energy. We're gonna put it in your shit now. Eight of swords, what's that? Self imposed prison. Just thinking somebody got your back when when they don't. Once again, that fucking camaraderie shit. Oh, we're brothers. 
John the same secret society or fucking social club and shit. I tell you, motherfuckers be spending all kind of money, bumping all kind of elbows, fucking they muscles up in their face with all these little fake smiles to bump elbows and get in with motherfuckers. And they think they in. That's a self-imposed prison. You ain't in. Fuck you talking about? If you ain't the bloodline, you need to be in these bitches. If you ain't in the social class, financial class, or if you ain't even just chosen, then you just a fucking poser. You just a motherfucker. You a groupie. That's what celebrities do groupies every day. Fake ass hustles every day. Think about it. See, y'all see rappers in a rap game. I see... <laughs> I see young men and women and individuals and shit who have capitalized on the financial situation. They have a lot of influence right now. There's a lot of motherfuckers that can make money off of them. People can make money. If you pop in, you famous, people can make money off your name and you ain't even got to be at the event. It's like bootlegging CDs. You just got to catch them. It's going to happen. <laughs> hey. Ain't nobody got your back. You get your own back. Do your own paperwork. You understand what I'm saying? You sign your own contracts. You don't let nobody handle no big business shit for you. Money. Ain't nobody owe you shit. Ain't nobody owe you shit. Real shit. You can start a business with a motherfucking friend, right? You don't do the paperwork. You let them do the paperwork. They dang dad. I mean, they Jay Z O ass. Like how you know Jay did damn this shit. Like y'all started this shit together and then he cut you out the deal because you didn't do your paperwork. You know what I mean? Your, your ass is in the Eight of Swords, a mental prison. Mental. That's thoughts, that's direction, that's decisions. You was in a self-imposed prison. Jumped him out. Fuck you thought. Camaraderie? It's your brother? Nah. <laughs> I tell you, it's the world. Loyalty. You, it's a rarity. Loyalty is a rarity like love in the real world. I told you, people looking for help. They ain't looking for love. I'm saying people look where they can get out the business. They ain't looking for loyalty like that. It ain't part of the game. It's, it's this doggy dog world. You gonna get your ass ate up being in some post prison. That's what some post prisons are here for. You to get ate up. Also, this is like I said. Uh, like I said, you think somebody owe you something? You trying to sue a lawsuit that you've been trying to do for two years because you feel old to something at this point. At this point, you just in some post prison trying to make something happen that ain't gonna happen. We're going to smoke on the seven post prison. Seven of cups. Dig deep. I.E. Step your motherfucking game up. Dig deep. Told you. Six of cups is the sauce card. Everybody has that. That's your sauce, your speed, your personality. So it makes you you. Right? Everybody's all that. Sauce. We all got sauce. Everybody's all that. But it's about being all that in a bag of chips. That's the seven of cups. You got to be all that in a bag of chips. Gotta be more than all that. Seven of Cups. That's taking your sauce and doing something with it. Giving it a name. Trying new flavors. Trying to market your sauce. Promote your sauce. Doing more than just being saucy. Because if you think your sauce, your swag, your yourself, just what you got going on is just going to get you blowed up out here or well known. Just from being like, oh, I'm the shit. It's like, I can say I see it all the time. Yeah, I'm going to put out one album, and I think I'm going to change the globe with that. You know what I'm saying? And that's all I'm going to put out. And I know God going to make sure that it's going to happen just like that. I'm only going to need to make one album for perfectionists who, you know, it's like you think you're so ready. You think you're so nice. You think you're so good at what the fuck you ain't did yet. That when you do it, it's going to get done. Like, hell no. Nah. You know what I mean? You can't come into anything like that. You're going to get embarrassed. You know what I mean? You've never been in a fight before. You're not going to go into your first fight like your top titty. Because you never been knocked the fuck out before. You probably never got punched before. You probably don't know what the fuck you're getting into. Once again, posers. You know, motherfuckers who just uh, have no type of sauce, originality. They just doing what the fuck somebody showed. Them. You ever heard that shit? You're a natural at something. You know what I mean? You're a natural at something. Make sure 
whatever you're natural at, that's what you're utilizing in the world. So just in case, I don't know, competition comes or a person is trying to take your slot or something, they get brutalized by the fact that you've done more than just having sauce. It's like you can't, not only can you fight, it's like you know how to, you know, four different arts of fighting. Like, not only can you sing, you can dance, you can rap, you can act. Like, you know what I'm saying? Not only do you look good, you can cook, you can clean, you can motherfucking shoot, you can do a, you know what I mean? Multifaceted. I told you you gotta be all that in a bag of chips. If you just walk around like you all that, without a bag of chips, you're in a, you're in a self-posed motherfucking prison, and a person who's not in one is gonna annihilate you. Personally, coming to the situation, Situation. If I'm asking you in a five of cups under you, it says isolation, emotional isolation. Why? Because you're four cups. You're in the world, but you're ace of cupping, taking care of yourself, self love, self respect, self admiration, self realization, self identification. You're doing all this self analyst in the fourth or fifth dimension away from the world while dwelling in the world at the same time. We're all in the world, but we're not in the world. We are, but we aren't. We're in heaven, but we're also on earth too. It's like we're on two planes of existence. We're in heaven and earth at the same time. Our heaven is on earth. Divines I'm talking about. Karmics, I don't know how they look at this shit. Aside from being emotionally isolated, masculine, we have Seven of Swords, a secret, or a Decepticon, or a cat is about to come out the bag, or you keeping it 100 with somebody else, or somebody keeping it 100 with you. Then we just drop from an Eight of Swords to a Seven of Swords, mentally going backwards. I'll just put it like this, masculine. You're not a good liar. I'll just say that number one. Number two, we got the devil out here it's clarifying this Decepticon card. You have a Decepticon and you're missed. Alright? And a Decepticon is yourself. Because you're alone. It's the energy of lying like you got a girlfriend. Lying like you're in a relationship. You know, fibbing. Lying. Telling people you got a job or you still got your job when you lost your job months ago. Telling people you still have a place to stay when you've been homeless for a while. The way the devil is here sitting on top of the seven of swords, this Decepticon shit. You either got a monkey on your back, masculine, and that's why you choose to stay away from whoever, feminine, whatever. Or... Like I said, you just can't even like this energy of a person that can't even find them their true selves anymore. It's like you lost. It's just you personally coming to your situation. You lost. You lost emotionally because you feel like there's no one there. Whatever that means to you. Seven of Swords. You mentally you know, kind of hiding. You know, this devil here. It's just like, like I said, you know, so far, that's energy for this. This is like, like I've been saying for two weeks straight Clark Kent, Superman complex. You're a fucking superhero, but you, you, you feel the need to be human. It's like you're telling yourself you need to be human. Because you're not human, but you want to get in tune with humans as much as possible. So you try to not do superhuman shit for the sake of experiencing a human experience. It's like a person that can't die, you know, who wants to experience death. It's like you can't die. Yeah. <laughs> Like you can't die, it's like you want what you can't have. You know, you're not human. Masculine, you're not regular. Masculine, you're not a karmic masculine. And it's like you want so bad to be regular. Not just on a 
humane tip. This is like on some real shit. This is like denying your powers. But let's take it a step above denying your powers. This is like in the Bible, one of the disciples denied Jesus Christ, man. This is your homie. This is your partner. This is your woody. You walk the earth with this motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? For a grip. Then your mans get caught up. They crucify him to a fucking cross or a tree. Motherfuckers looking for the homies that was with them. Y'all deny it. You know what I mean? Shit. How you think, how you think Christ felt about that? He wasn't hurt, hurt. But he was kind of disappointed. Because I'm pretty sure in, in Christ's head, at least out of all the motherfuckers in the world at that time who should have been riding, it should have been y'all. But then he got set up by his own partner, Judas. You know what I'm saying? So, I told you, more of the story about Christ, showing people that's going to fuck you up, set you up. I say that in I say that in reds all the time. Everybody that gets assassinated, everybody that gets turned in. I just saw Queen and Slim. The end of the movie. That type of shit. Man, I left out the movie. Mad as hell, boy. Got on gang. You seen the movie? No spoilers. You seen the movie? You know what I mean? It wasn't the cops, nigga. <laughs> it wasn't the cops, nigga, that pissed me off. And that's life. That's why I love that movie, because that's some real ass shit. Yeah? <laughs> so they wouldn't want the Cuba, but. That's how you shit happened to Juice World? <laughs> Ooh. Look. R.I.P. This devil shit, it's old, it's tired, it's booty. This monkey on your, if it's a monkey on your back, if this shit drugs, <laughs> come on now, I mean, every ten is out here besides the ten of swords. That's the death card. Every ten is out here, masculine, besides one card. God out here too. You know what I mean? It's almost like God sacrificed death to get here for you. Like, you should be dead. But instead, God got you. Like, this drug should have been took you out of here. This spouse should have been stressed you out. Gave you a heart attack. Goddamn stroke or something. Fuck around with this clown. And I mean, this, this devil, whatever this devil is, that you keep chained to you, that you can't leave alone, that you keep between your feminine. And I mean, it's tired. 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 Guess what? Karma to the feminine energy? Huh. This, this, is, this is energy coming from the feminine energy. You're going to have a three of swords. Karmic. It's your karma rope in regards to the feminine. You got pain. Pass the point of no return. It's only one right way. One right way. You see how both these is going in one direction? Because there's only one right way. It's three swords here, but it's really one sword going in the opposite direction. Why? Because it's only one right way. That means left is the only direction. So, it's this rubble shit right here. You, 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 you want to go the other way. You know, in reality, I tell you, Ace of Swords is the right direction. Two of Swords is thinking you got options when you don't. I told you, it's only one right way. You go any other direction. You're going down. Three of swords. Three is all about evolution. What's a sword? That's the decision. That's the direction. What direction? Up. What's up? God's up. Right? Gotta get to the point where you gotta go past the point over time. Every person that's kicking a habit goes through this. To me, it's called cold turkey. <laughs> and they're coming back now. You're doing good. Hug it out. It takes three months to get weed out your system. You're at the third month. It's almost a matter of time now. Hug it out. It's like you're trying to get rid of somebody. 
Let's go. This is the same freaking energy. You know what I'm saying? As what Bassa had and what Love got to do with it when she was running out the hallway when Ike was sleeping on the couch, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? She got to have to go. Yeah, you scared. Yeah, you, you're going to be uncomfortable. Yeah, shit is going to be so different. But in overall energy, it's almost like you preparing for a change anyway. You pull me yourself. Drink on true you want. That ain't this. Yeah. <laughs> You know? Eight of Cups, what's that? That's keeping your nose clean. That's integrity. That's a divine card. This is a person doing what they need to do in the world. This is also enterprising. You went from the Five of Cups to taking care of yourself in the world, emotionally masculine, to the Seven of Cups, step above the sauce. Everybody's all that, but you're starting to get all that in the bag of chips. Why? Because you're hopefully breaking out your self-imposed prison. Or you in a self-imposed prison thinking you ain't all that in a bag of chips. Either way, we get all the way to the ten of, I mean the eight of cups here. Which is enterprise. That's the Patty the Bell card. Like I say, Patty the Bell, the reason why this is Patty the Bell card, Patty the Bell don't have to sing. I'm telling you, look at Anita Baker, man. Look at Aretha Franklin, man. Look at Whitney Houston, man. Look at all these chicks, man. Old as hell singing. Looking like they built the Drop dead on tour, man. They looking unhealthy, man. Looking a little lonely, man. You know what I mean? Looking bad. Then you got Patty Bell who ain't got a scene. Nigga, she slinging pies out this bitch. Nigga, she got her own season. When she can capitalize, she can sing if she won't. She ain't for me on nobody's stage jigging, tap dancing for no fucking body. Her ass enterprise on a whole new lane. Maybe these chicks need to enterprise like motherfucking Patty LaBelle. Maybe they ass won't be out here looking like they about to drop dead on stage. Maybe it's painful to Patty LaBelle. The fact that she can enterprise almost like she just figured it out and they not. Nah. Patty moving in the right direction. And it's the fact that she's slinging pies. Nigga, Patty keep her integrity intact. Can't say shit bad about her. She keep it like that. That's how you're supposed to be. You know what I mean? Being a good role model. You know what I'm saying? Living a good life. It's like your grandparents and the people that you see at church. The reason why ain't nobody perfect. The reason why the people at church, you know what I'm saying? I get respect to them for going the extra mile because it's hard keeping your nose clean in the world. It's the world. So, you keep your nose clean, it's hard. It's hard for a person that don't drink being around drunks all day. A person that kick weed being around pie heads all day. Person who used to be in a world who in church now, man. Of course the world looks cooler. Of course the devil can spice this shit up like by you being a goody goody, you missing out. Like that's a crock of shit. Somebody gotta be the the sober, safe, level headed person here, and that looks like you, man. Which seems like it's a dream come true. It's something that you always wanted to do. Or where you always wanted to be in life. You personally in regards to the divine feminine entity. Or the feminine energy in general. You got the Six of Pentacles. This is getting square. You get square in two ways. That's doing your part in the world. And fulfilling your role with God. What's your role with God? That's two of one. Same role you got with your feminine. It's support. Masculine, you're here for support. You know what I mean? It's just like I say. Two of wands is working. That's like... I say, you being a groundskeeper or a security for a church or a community center or a school that don't have too many black positive male role models and you, you, you've you become that. You know what I mean? You're doing your part. You know what I mean? Kids need protected. You're doing your part. You know what I'm saying? Like, kids need to be tutored. Community center, you know what I mean? Kids need to be, I don't know, educated or edutain <laughs> edutainment educated for the world or something like that. Like I say, your presence is needed, masculine, and you're going to have to be present. And just doing that gets you a D. It ain't really a C. Seven of Pentacles, the C was in the overall energy. You got to, like I say, Gotta do work. 
We on wrong. Yeah, I throw your position out here. Verifying that is another six. Six of swords. Rolling with the homies. Or moving effortlessly and frequently towards the, the, the right direction. There's only one right way, and that's up. So, and, um, you know, sixes are past the fives, but like I say, to me, sixes are all about, like, shit clicking. Six of Pentacles. This is like the step after the Five of Pentacles. Five of Pentacles is Dark Knight is so lost. You're going without something. Four of Pentacles is holding on too tight to something or being scared to let go of something. We all gotta let go of something. I mean, we can't hold on to shit. Because anything can get taken away from us. So then, Six of Pentacles come, you square. You ain't asked out anymore. You ain't in a position where you hold on to things. Or you're going without things. You ain't in an uber great position. I told you, you had a D. A D ain't an F, but it's still a D. You're going to have to get to the 7. But at least at a D, you square. This is having somewhere to stay at night and you homeless. Somebody buys you a room out the kindness of their heart because it's cold as fuck out here. And you got somewhere to sleep for the next 8 hours. That's getting a square. Five of Pentacles, you was out in the street with nowhere to, nowhere to be, nowhere to go. Now you in a hotel room. That's, that's a starter. It ain't the Hilton. You gotta find somewhere to be another night. But for right now, you square. You clicked. This is probably what you needed to get to sleep, what you needed to make a better tomorrow. Or whatever the fuck. Six of Swords. This is you've been trying and trying and aiming going through. You've been trying and aiming going through. You've been trying and aiming going through. Boom, you go through. Six of Swords. You finally get in. It's like you hit a jackpot. On a slot machine or a keto machine or something like that. And try and try and try and boom, that bitch finally singing. You know what I mean? It's just flowing like water, baby. This is you trying to get that person on the same page as you meant to be. And it seems like they've been stranded. And now you and them finally on, on one, kind of not on one accord, but y'all at least on the same wavelength. And shit kind of moving. Movement. Coming to feminine energy, you're going to have to get square with your feminine in order for you to. Get there with your feminine. I'm going to say that shit two times. As far as the feminine energy, consciously masculine, you're going to have to get square with your feminine. So you can get there with your feminine. Your personal energy, masculine, the karma, karma, in your situation is happiness. Karma, in your, in your situation is happiness. This is emotional fulfillment. This is something making you happy. But it's karma to someone or something else. Ain't your fault, it's their fault, but it's your fault for having them in your shit. Verifying that is the Seven of Wands. Internal conflict. Okay, fuck it. It ain't nobody, it ain't nobody else, it's yourself. Most of this shit is yourself. I told you, seven deals with internal. You got the, all the sevens out here. Seven of swords. Seven of wands. Seven of pentacles. And seven of cups. Told you. Seven of seven is dealing with internal. The energy you got karmically with yourself. You would have conflicted about a good thing. Something that always happens with you. You think shit's too good to be true. You think if it's too good then it's not gonna last long or it's gonna be taken away from you and it's internal shit. This is obviously something you are happy with. This is a step past the dream come true. It's a dream come true that happened that you're happy about finally. Something you're happy about. But you're in a conflicted. Why are you in a conflicted? Eight of Wands. And that Ten of Swords just peaked that. <laughs> you're in a conflicted because you know you need to say something. Eight of Wands. This is communicate. You got the Seven of Swords that you came to the situation with. Along with the devil. Being alone and isolated. You, the karma, to you personally right now, masculine, you're going to have to get off this fucking dumb shit you're on. Like, it's like you happy as hell. And you're telling yourself it's too good to be true. 
literally telling yourself it's too good to be true. Fuck talking to yourself about what's too good to be true. Why don't you communicate what's good to you right now to somebody who's good to you? Just telling your family how you really feel. Telling your family how you really feel. Telling your friends how you really feel. Whether it's good, bad, or ugly, you are happy. You are so happy right now. And all you want to do is enjoy this happiness. You want to make the best out of your emotional state right now. Y'all talk. Person make you happy? Tell them. You love a person so much, you can't live without them. You know? Tell them. Tell them. You might fall on your ass. You might get embarrassed. You might get hurt. Tell them. Why? Because you got balls doing that shit. Average motherfucker ain't got nuts. It's like me when I started this channel, man. I had nuts telling y'all my demo. I could have lied. Been like most of these whack ass, funny style ass psychics and just saying I was a divine masculine energy. Just because I could pass off as one or look like one. You know what I mean? A lot of these masculines is feminists. Whole time. Because I'm a feminine and I see my swag all on them. <laughs> all on them. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know how that shit go. You know, I got to keep it real. I got kicked in the nuts a lot about being a defined feminine male. And then just me broadcasting that shit, eight of wands, talking about that shit, letting y'all know about this shit. But it's growth on my end. I'm staying true to myself. I'm seven of sword. Give me the fucking real. <laughs> Based off analyzations, behaviors, things that's manifested in my life, I am yeah, definitely in the line for an I'm not going to lie. What's the point of me saying I'm a masculine for other than I'm trying to having the sword hiding something. If you ain't keeping it with yourself, you hiding something. In any no circumstance should you be hiding anything. There's no point in hiding. All darkness come to light, number one. Number two, you just downplaying your own damn stuff. You happy. Talk about that. If somebody make you happy, tell them. It's like something you gotta tell your feminine. And you're going to tell your feminine, eight of wands this to your feminine. Why are you going to eight of wands this to your feminine? It's only for a specific group. Because your feminine did the same with you. I told you. I came on my box with my masculine enough for him to know he can tell me anything. He's already told me a lot of shit. But like I said, I'm not scared to tell him like he's the love of my life or I will fucking put Five bullets in the face of anybody that fuck with them type shit like nigga you know what I'm saying I remember like last time I seen him last time we had a full on conversation it was a good fucking dinner we had lunch it was a good fucking day I ain't seen her from a nigga since last day I seen them picked them up from the hospital he's gonna pick his ass up from the hospital like I said anytime some shit happened between us, this nigga gets sick all of a sudden. He always gets sick when we falling out or some, you know, drastic shit's gonna happen. Like, I was moving. This is our, this is our last dinner. And, um, I didn't say it was our last dinner, but, I mean, for a while. So, you know, I'm trying to get what I was trying to say. Yeah, so we ate, hung out like we usually do, but it was more sullen. Because I think deep down I knew this is the last time I was going to see him in a while. And, and wow, I'm a psychic. <laughs> like the way I felt, it felt like I wasn't going to talk to this nigga and see this nigga in a, in a while. So I dropped him off at home. Peeled off. He's staying on like uh, Bronzeville and shit, like 35th, 36th Street. I live in Gary. Nigga, 
by the time I hit Pullman, my old hood, where I had my old house, remember I had my house and all that other shit? Yeah, that shit happened. So, by the time I passed my house, I'm crying. Just crying. You know what I'm saying? Crying. Listening to some Anita Baker. I had uh, somebody burn me a Anita Baker Sade mix. Because <laughs> they're my girls. Crying. Bitch. And this is why I say, for us to not be knocking no boots, for this not to be no gay ass demo, for us to like have this father son bond thing, nigga, I'm feminine energy, nigga. I'll be highly emotional in this shit. So I can only imagine what the fuck y'all gotta go through. But just because y'all go through that shit don't mean shit. We in the same equal boat when it comes to this motherfucking experience. I just have an unbiased opinion when it comes to this shit, and it is the demonstration. I'm just here to let you know that sucks, but you still got to thug it out. Ha! <laughs> and I mean, yeah, I'm in probably a better situation emotionally in it, but that don't mean I got the, uh, my shit better than your situation or, some, or your shit better than my situation. Like, we all in the same boat. It's what you do in your demo, right? Cry like a baby. You know what I mean? And <laughs> I texted it to him. I mean, I mean, I cried all the Gary, bro. And I, I forgot what his response was. It was so long ago. You know what I mean? But it was, I'm pretty sure he downplayed it. And I'm pretty sure he said some old man, old school shit. Like, toughen up. If that's true, then womp, 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 womp. Some goofy shit. You know? But I could tell him shit like this. Even when I came out the bag, tell him how I felt the second year I known him. Like, I do all this shit so he can do it too. It's monkey see, monkey do. I acknowledge this divine shit to put it out there and let him know what it is and what, it ain't, what the fuck this shit gonna be with us. Like, this is something different. This is a divine connection. This is no regular ass connection. Anything I'm drilling in his head is to let him know what type of connection this is. This is a once in a lifetime type demo here. And it's a reflection. He feels emotional as I am. That nigga's more emotional than me. He just hides it. <laughs> this shit makes me very happy. He makes me very happy. This shit has been a very good, happy experience for me. It sucks. It's been good, bad, and ugly. But I can't complain. Ain't done nothing but help me. That's why I'm talking to y'all. Same energy I got sharing all this shit. That's how your masculine has right now. They're analyzing everything. Feeling all kind of ways. They're talking about it. If not with you, then they're definitely talking to the person that they can talk to to help them right now. Personally masculine. You personally. You got the ten of wands. It's going to have to end some of your passions. Bro. This isn't a permanent end. It's a, it's a temporary end. Okay? Put more smoke on that. We got the five of pentacles. This is a dark night of the soul. Okay. I told you, five of pentacles is going without something. Alright? <laughs> hey. Passionately put an end to something. And go without it. Because you need to. You need to. Put final smoke on that. We got the nine of wands. Because you got a job to do. And nine of wands is you moving fast and fiercely in your divine direction. Master. It's a divine direction you need to be going right now. It's some shit you need to be doing. Plus, the step after the Ten of Wands is the Nine of Wands. It's just you doing what you need to do. By you putting the end of that, you can finally get on your J for job. Okay? And in your job, the Dark Knight of Soul is not there. See? It's, it's obedience. Obedience is better than sacrifice. You ain't sacrificing nothing doing the right thing. It's only one right way. That's up. What's up? God's up, right? You ain't sacrificing nothing going the right way. You're just being obedient by going the right way. That's why I say it. Everybody need to be on their path. Because if you're on your path, you're getting squirrel with God. If you're getting squirrel with God, God gonna get squirrel with you. How do you think dreams get made around here? You gotta end things to begin things. Masculine. Something you're gonna have to put a passion into. So you can get on your job. It's something you're gonna have to go without. Now, when the feminine had this in the karmic reading, it was her putting a temporary end to you. This ain't permanent. This is a temporary ending. The right feminine had this when some feminines was leaving you alone, masculine. 
so they can pursue their romantic endeavors and not waste any more time, energy, and resources that has to be wasted at this point. This is you feeling the same energy. Like I said, it's a monkey see, monkey do. It's a figure eight. But you go through feminine, your masculine will go through some feminine. If you're going through some shit, you know, you're trying to develop the world with a motherfucking karmic or something like that, I mean, I wouldn't, I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if your masculine do the same shit you're doing. You know what I mean? But maybe this is good. I can't say this. In the eight months I've been away from my twin, you know what I'm saying? It's let me focus a lot on myself. <laughs> yeah? A lot on myself. And uh, not saying I was focused too much on him, but I spent a lot of time, energy, and resources fucking with my twin. So we're now all that time, energy, uh, money and resources going straight to me now. And it shows. Final row. Ten of Pentacles. Masculine. The karma. Everything is going to be all good. You and another person is going to come together like butt cheeks. This is also manifesting whatever it is you wanted. Something you wanted. This dream come true up here. Something you wanted. Whatever make you happy right here. Something you wanted. That you had to go past the point of no return for. That you had to put a passion into something for. You get it. Whatever you wanted, you got it. Clarifying that is the nine of pentacles. And the main reason why you got what you asked for was because you was in a position to get it. The main reason you got what you asked for is because you was in a position to get it. Once again, overall energy. You was blooming yourself for something. As if you knew how to get something. Then you positioned yourself to get it. Nine of Pentacles. I told you, Nine of Pentacles is 90%. It's an A. Let's just say you choose to give one Pentacle away to help somebody. You drop from an A to a C. I mean, an A to a B. Eight of Pentacles is a B. It's still passing. Now, if you got Ten of Pentacles and you choose to help somebody... You're going from an A to an A. That's why Ten of Pentacles is all good. You want to help people in this type of energy right here. You want to, you know, loan out money or be a blessing to people or whatever. When you're in this type of energy, it's all good. You got A's here. If you got Ten of Pentacles, you give up one, you're still going to have an A. If you got Nine of Pentacles, you give up one, you're still going to have a B. You're going to be passing. What you don't want to do is give up more than three motherfucking Pentacles on a Ten. Or more than two fucking Pentacles on a Nine. Or more than one fucking pinnacle with a seven. You know what you got. You know what you don't have. Goes back to the overall energy of doing too fucking much. You know what I'm saying? Do not go overboard. Once again, this is the energy masculine. You go into the future. This is karma. Say you want to get with your feminine. Say you want to marry your feminine. You choose to, I don't know, get an engagement ring. To show your feminine how serious you are about being with her. The reality, you can't really afford an engagement ring right now. Like, you think by you doing it, it's going to give you cool points. Your feminine already thinking ahead. She enjoy, she appreciates the gesture. But at the same time, she knows that's going to set you back. It don't make sense for you to be, I don't know, financially fucked up over a ring. Ring is very important. But you're more important. She realizes that shit. That's a good understanding woman right there. You know what I mean? Some women on that. Some women just ain't on that. Nigga, if you can't afford my ring, you can't afford me. No. <laughs> it's all good. Masculine. You know what I mean? You're going to get just what you asked for. Just be prepared to, uh, you know, be ten toes down on whatever come with it. Final card. God. You know what I mean? This is a tower moment. This is divine intervention. This is God stepping in on your behalf to make shit happen in your favor. And putting final smoke on this, we got the Queen of Swords. <sighs> Told you, God gets the final say so in everything that happens in your life. That's the end. You know, when God gets the final say so, that's the end. But before the end happens, somewhere between the beginning and the ending, masculine, queen of swords, this is being 10 toes the fuck down on the middle decision. 
to do something. Between the beginning and the end, final word, between the beginning and the end, masculine, you had time before the ending to dictate and make something happen, to have whatever you want to have, to create life that you want to create. So the feminist shit in her reading. Master, you can create anything you want to create, okay? Just make sure you do the best that you can. You're going to get dreams come true. And it looks like you're going to get it from work. But it looks like you're going to downplay everything that's going to happen here. Please don't do that. You know? This is like playing a prank on somebody you love. Final word. This is... You go into the future, masculine. Please don't, don't. It's like you play a prank on somebody you love. It's like you play a prank you did. You laying unresponsive on the floor, your feminine freaking out. Then you come back to life like, ah, oh, I was just fucking with you. And it's like she's crying so hard, she don't even want to see you right now. Inconsiderate prick. That's not funny. Why would you even, like, who, 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 what, like, is you doing a prank because everybody pranking? Or you just really feel like this is how you're really going to connect with your feminine by disconnecting so fakely with your feminine? Like, you know what I'm saying? It's all mental. Masculine, what are you doing? Okay. Got a good thing here. It's something you wanted. But it's like, soon you get it, you're going to, like, shh. It's like you're going to outstep your boundaries just to see how far your boundaries are. Overboard. Final say so on this message. Masculine, stop being overboard. Humble thyself in the sight of the Lord. Where is God's sentences down from your chin? That's my message. Deuces.